Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Assholeconsulting.com. Go there. Me. On only world's professional asshole. Tell you truth. Curse. Swear. And you give me money. Aaron, what'd you think you were gonna do when you were older? Oh, I thought I'd just curse and swear at the internet. What's the internet? I don't know. You'll find out. You think you'll make money cursing and swearing at a screen? Yeah, probably so. I think I will. Well, best of luck to you, dipshit kid. Oh, anyway. Hi, my name is Frank. Shout out. I love the videos. Very real perspective. Fuck the Democrats. The question I would like to bring to your attention is one having to do with me not continuing to pursue a bachelor's degree in chemistry after I finished with my associate's degree in science at my community college. I'm going to be sitting at around $8,000 in debt, which is nothing. I'm currently still living at home at the age of 21, working part-time, which I have been for approximately three years now. Jobs varying between a culinary aide at a nursing home to hosting at a restaurant. Crappy jobs without really any marketable skills. Become a fucking security guard, or a librarian, or a gas station attendant, or a parking lot attendant, so you can work on your homework while making money. <sighs> do I gotta do everything? Yes. Why are you talking to like this somebody over there? I don't know. Did you drink? No, I haven't drank in a while, actually. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> ba -ba -ba. I have reached this blockade due to the fact I am finding the increasing cost of college to not be worth the outcome. My alcoholic dad and mother pissed away money on things they could not afford and are now in credit card debt. Not knowing whether or not you have a place to live is not a comfortable feeling. So mainly I have been trying to get my shit together but saving money in hopes of moving out. I've already done research in areas outside of Chicago and a fairly inexpensive rent. Roommates would be an added bonus, especially if rent were, say, only $500 a month working full-time would easily cover it. I'm also a type 1 diabetic, and health insurance plays a rather large role in any financial choice I make. My question is, well, don't you just go to Obamacare now? I mean, aren't you like kind of the guy that we would intend it for? <clears throat> You're a poor college student. You have a disease. Is one where you ate yourself to fucking death, or is that the natural one? Whatever, I'm going to assume charitably it's the one that you had no control over. Uh, you're the one that should go on Obamacare, so that should be relatively affordable. Well, <laughs> see what they can do. Oh, yeah, that's right, you got the Illinois State Exchange. Oh, fuck. Anyway, uh, my question is this. What do you think my prospects would be as far as finding a job with some health benefits that would also allow me to be independent pay off loans, and then pursue a trade, whether it be welding, plumbing, or becoming an electrician. The second option is to stay home, look for a full-time job, and pursue a vocational trade school here in Chicago. School is fairly easy, 3.6 GPA with minimal effort. I've considered switching into engineering, but the amount of data I'd have to add on seems like <clears throat> I would be shooting myself in the foot. One parent has already lost a job while the other keeps spending. I wonder who the spender is. Is it the male or the female? Hmm, what does experience tell me? And then also who loses the job. I, I won't lie, let's be, let's be gender fair. I wonder who the person is that lost the job, the male or the female. All in all, I feel like I have a lot to think over and not much time to do it. Guidance and direction would be much appreciated. All right, look, kid, <clears throat> this is the worst part of your life as far as we know now. Because <laughs> anything can happen. And now is not the time to be scaling down your dreams or your goals and aspirations, especially when you're majoring in chemistry, especially with a 3.6 GPA, and especially with as little debt as you got. I know $8,000 seems like a lot of debt, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not. <clears throat> now, in addition to finding a job where you can work on your homework, uh, you're just going to have to kick ass and take names. Right? You don't have rich parents. You're like me. You're fucked in this regard. You got you. That's it. You sound like a white male, too, so you're fucked in that regard. About the only thing of victim status you could complain is your diabetes. So now you could go ahead and hopefully apply for um, Obamacare. And God, I hope it's not super expensive because it's supposed to be cheap. So do I think you're going to find a job um, that's going to pay you health insurance? Fuck no. Not at your age, not with your lack of education and, and skills. 
Do I think you should go become a tradesman? Fuck no. All right, not that. I mean, yeah, fine. A tradesman would be fine. But, dude, you're nailing a 3.6 GPA studying chemistry. Right? I don't know why you're doing chemistry. It seems a little bit theoretical to me. I say you aim for chemical engineering. And not only do I say you finish off your, your two years schooling over in Chicago there, you get the fuck out of Chicago, you go live somewhere really cheap, and you go to Urbane Champaign, uh, Champaign Urbana, uh, University of Illinois. I th they're one of the highest chem uh, mechanical engineering schools, at least they were in my day. Double check, see how they're ranked for chemical engineering. I think they overall have a very well... Uh, reputable engineering school down there. Why are you selling yourself so short? Go for that. And yeah, you're going to go in debt. You are. In my day, tuition was low enough you could actually work it off with a okay job. Uh, it doesn't sound to be that way anymore. Now the best you can hope for is work while you keep your debt relatively low. But you have got to look at the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is that if there's a gamble to take, you're the one to take it. You're majoring in a very good field. You obviously have the intelligence to do that. Uh, 3.6 in chemistry is not easy. Um, and your family is, is fucking worthless. There, there's nowhere where you come from. It's gone. That's true. Uh, so I would say you, you, look, you aim a little bit higher than what you're doing now. Can you go to a four-year school in Chicago? Yeah, but then you're stuck in fucking Chicago. In Chicago, fucking, so it's great when you're young and you do it for a year, but for jobs and shit and education, fuck no, get out of there. Go to Champaign Urbana, uh, go to some other school like that as reputable within the state, so you get in-state tuition and pursue a degree in chemical engineering. And then when you get out, you're going to be laughing at that eight thousand dollars of debt you're worried about. So you're going to have to double down. You're going to have to work hard. You are going to have to find lodging. Sooner or later, you're going to have to find lodging. Your parents are less reliable than you. So, you know, don't rely on them. You don't need to be all of a sudden uh, uh, foreclosed on or what do they call it? Booted out. What do they call that? Evicted. And then all of a sudden, you got to scramble to find a place to play. I, I would grab a car if you got a car. Get rid of all the shit that you don't need. Get yourself a sleeping bag. Grab yourself a laptop. Get yourself some socks and undies. Grab your your medicine, and then you go find a cheap ass place at a cheap ass school. I mean, okay, fine, finish off your you know your two years here, but then I think you start looking for a better chemical engineering program that you got reciprocity in, and uh, you do that. Um, you know, and failing that, okay, maybe the the skills or the trades, but you know, chemical engineering is one of the highest paid degrees, and. Um, Oh yeah, you can make good money being a welder or a plumber. But you can make a lot more as a chemical engineer, and you have the talent for it too. I could never do chemistry. I mean, I could. I could do the molar conversions, and I could. I, under, I understood the concept of valence electron configuration. Um, but but it, it just the other stuff, I, which I can't remember because it just my brain wouldn't grasp it. You got that. Please don't fucking waste that skill. Please do not fucking waste that skill. If there's someone that should be going into debt for an education, it's you. Don't go crazy with the debt. But please, do not sell yourself short here. Okay? You, you go do your best. I don't give a fuck that you got diabetes. You go and do. All right? Best of luck. Next three years is going to suck. Suck it up. Toodles.